Good day everyone. So in this video lesson, we will discuss about solving polynomial equation. So marami tayong paraan, marami tayong paraan on how to solve equation. So first, uh, let's say we have a linear equation. So paano natin isi-solve yung linear equation? Kapag linear equation, mas madali kasi we need... Ang gagawin lang natin is to isolate the variable on one side and the other side, no? Or we can apply what? Properties. We can apply addition property. So, a plus 5 is equal to 2. So, ang gagawin lang natin, so apply the addition property of equality or APE. So, we can add both sides by negative 5. Or, uh, pwede rin naman yung ginagawa natin na ililipat natin si 5 dun sa right side. So, that is magiging 2 minus 5. No? Magiging negative siya. So, therefore, 2 minus 5, the value of A is negative 3. Okay, another example of linear equation. 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. So, 2x minus 5 is, I know, 2x minus 5 is equal to 11. So, same process class, no? Kailan natin ma-isolate para ma-solve natin yung value ng x. So, lipat lang natin si negative 5 sa kabilang side. So, 2x is equal to 11 plus 5. Since negative siya, so it will become positive. And then, add 11 plus 5. The answer is 16. 2x is equal to 16. Divide both sides by 2. The value of x is 8. Okay. So, madali lang kapag linear equation. Paano kapag quadratic? So, let's, for example, we have x squared minus 9x plus 18 is equal to 0. So, meron tayong given na quadratic trinomial. So, paano tayo nagpa-factor ng quadratic trinomial? So, kung uh, medyo hirap kayo dito at uh, nalilito kayo kung paano kunin yung factor ng x squared minus 9x plus 18, so, pwede yung balikan yung video lesson natin sa uh, pang grade 8. No? Tingnan nyo lang yung playlist ng grade 8. Uh, lahat doon, yung umpisa, puro factoring. So, x squared minus 9x plus 18 is equal to 0. So, paano natin kunin yung factor nito para ma-solve natin yung value ng x? So, we need to list all pairs of integers whose product is C. Para identify na natin kung anong sign ng factors natin, so, tingin tayo dito sa sign sa dulo. So, ito yung mag-a-identify kung anong sign ang gagamitin. So, kapag positive yung nandito class, it's either both factors are positive or negative. So, again, kapag positive yung sign dito, uh, both factors, it's either both factors are positive or negative. Paano naman natin malalaman na positive, both are positive or both are negative? So, dito naman, sa sign natin dito. So, kapag negative yung nandito, ibig sabihin, uh, both factors nitong x squared minus 9x plus 18, 18 are negative. So, pe, uh, ibig sabihin nun class, since negative yung to, so negative lahat. Okay, so madali na lang ma-identify. List natin lahat ng pairs of integers na ang product is yung constant na 18. And then, both factors dapat ay negative. So, ano mga yun? We have uh, negative 1 and negative 18, negative 2 and negative 9, negative 3 and negative 6. So, lahat ng ito ay factors na kapag multiply natin ay positive 18. Ano ang next na gagawin? Para makuha natin kung ano yung factors ni x squared minus 9x plus 18. So, Choose a pair whose sum is B. Ano ba yung B natin? That is negative 9. So, ano yung pares dito? No? Na kapag in daw natin, the answer is yung letter B natin, which is negative 9 sa given na to. So, kapag in natin tong una, negative 1 plus negative 18, the answer is negative 19. Sa pangalawa naman, negative 2 plus negative 9, the answer is negative 11. And then dito, negative 3 plus negative 6, the answer is negative 9. So, ibig sabihin, yung factor ng x squared minus 9x plus 18 is uh, negative 3 and negative 6. And that is x minus 3 times x minus 6 is equal to 0. 
So, yung factor ni x squared minus 9x plus 18 is so x minus 3 and x minus 6. So, madali na sa atin, i-identify yung value ng x by uh, applying the what? What uh, rule? Okay, the zero product rule. Okay, x minus 3 is equal to 0. The value of x is positive 3. Sa kabila, x minus 6 is equal to 0. The value of x is positive 6. Alright? Next. Okay, for example, number 4, solve x cubed minus 7x plus 6 is equal to 0. So, dito class, pwede tayo gumamit yung natutunan natin in the previous video lesson. Natutunan nyo how to uh, solve using the synthetic division, long division, or factor theorem to determine the roots of the polynomial equation. So, ganun din dito. So, ang gagawin natin dito class para mabilis natin ma-identify, i-reduce -re natin. So, dapat may makuha tayong isa na factor para ma-reduce natin into quadratic. Okay? Kasi pag naka-cube siya class, mahirap kunin yung factors. So, ang gagawin natin, kuha tayo ng isang factors ng 6, itong sa dulo. So, ano ba yung mga factors ni 6? Pwedeng negative 1, positive 1, negative 2, positive 2, negative 3, positive 3. So, magta-try and error tayo. So, start tayo sa negative 1. So, we can apply using the uh, synthetic division. So, using the synthetic division, apply natin. Kapag 0 yung remainder, ibig sabihin, si negative 1 ay kasama sa roots nitong x cubed minus 7x plus 6. Okay, by the way class, bago ko pala makalimutan, yung degree of polynomials natin, uh, siya yung magsasabi kung ilang roots meron ang polynomial equation natin. Since 3 is the degree of polynomial dito, ibig sabihin tatlo yung roots ng uh, polynomial equation na to. So, balik tayo dito. So, test natin or i-check natin kung si negative 1 ay kasama sa roots ni x cubed minus 7x plus 6 is equal to 0. Again, saan natin ulit nakuha si negative 1? Okay, uh, nilist natin or in-identify natin yung mga possible factors nung uh, constant natin. Okay, so using the synthetic division, so bring down 1. Then 1 times negative 1, that is negative 1. And then add 0 plus negative 1, the answer is negative 1. Then multiply, negative 1 times negative 1, the answer is positive 1. Negative 7 plus 1, this is negative 6. And negative 6 times negative 1, that is positive 6. Then 6 plus 6 is equal to positive 12. So, yung remainder natin dito is 12. So, ibig sabihin class, since uh, negative 1 is not 0, then x plus 1 is not factor of uh, the given polynomial equation. Okay, so hindi siya factor or hindi siya, uh, neg yung negative 1 natin ay hindi kasama sa roots ng polynomial equation natin. So, let's try positive 1. Okay, so same process, bring down 1. 1 times 1, that is 1. 0 plus 1, that is 1. 1 times 1, that is positive 1. Negative 7 plus 1, that is negative 6. Negative 6 times 1, that is negative 6. 6 plus negative 6 is equal to 0. So, ito class, nag-0 yung remainder natin. Therefore, therefore, yung 1 ay kasama sa roots natin. Ibig sabihin, itong positive 1 kasama sa roots ni x cubed minus 7x plus 6 is equal to 0. So, ibig sabihin nun, x minus 1 is a factor and yung natira na uh, remaining class so, pag nilagay natin ito, diba, that will become x squared plus x minus 6. So, since naka-quadratic na to class, madali na lang sa atin i-factor. Okay? So, ang ginawa natin, ni-reduce muna natin to para makakuha tayo ng isang factor or, and then makakuha ng isang roots para ma-reduce natin. So, ito na nga, na-reduce na natin. x squared plus x minus 6. So, yan ay uh, ipa-factor natin. So, yung factor ng x squared plus x minus 6 is x plus 3 times x minus 2. So, using the zero product rule, we can equate and we can get the value of x. So, x minus 1 is equal to uh, 0. So, ito yon. 
ito yung kanina, no? So, that is x is equal to 1. So, kasama na siya sa roots. And then, dito, sa dalawa na to, sa isa natin, x plus 3 is equal to 0. The answer is negative 3. If x minus 3 is equal to 0, the value of x is positive 2. So, ibig sabihin, class, yung roots ng uh, given polynomial equation natin, x cubed minus 7x plus 6 are positive 1, negative 3, and positive 2. Okay, let's have this example using rational root theorem. Okay, using the rational root theorem. So, let's apply the rational root theorem. Given x cubed minus 6x squared plus 3x plus 10 is equal to 0. Diba yung gagawin natin? Kunin natin, okay, yung uh, possible factors ng 10. Itong nasa dulo natin. And then, yung Q naman natin, saan kinukuha yung Q? That is the numerical coefficient. Okay, numerical coefficient natin or yung uh, leading coefficient natin. So, yung 10, that is the constant. Dito natin kinukuha. So, ano yung mga possible uh, factors ng 10? Negat 1, negative 1, 2, negative 2, 5, negative 5, 10, and negative 10. Yung possible factor naman ng leading coefficient natin ay nung numerical coefficient natin no that is what since 1 siya so yung possible factors niya is 1 and negative 1 and then ito class so hindi ko na pinakita no itong mga to ay i-divide natin isa-isa dito para makuha natin so once na divide natin to lahat yung uh, factors ng 10 sa factors ni 1 ito yung makukuha natin okay so 1 Negative 1, so kasi isa-isa yan. So, ito na yung list no, ng uh, possible rational roots. 2, negative 2, 5, negative 5. So, ano ang gamit ngayon nito? So, kung nalilito kayo, paano kunin nito? Balikan nyo yung video lesson natin about rational root theorem. So, balikan nyo yun. So, ano yung ano nito? function nito? So, ito yung gagamitin natin no na isa substitute natin dun sa polynomial equation natin na kapag naging zero ang sagot ibig sabihin kasama siya or kasama siya or factor siya nito no uh, kasama siya as roots of x cube minus 6 x squared plus 3 x plus 10 is equal to zero so let's try uh, let's start with one okay positive one so Substitute lang natin, 1, 1 cube minus 6 times 1 squared plus 3 times 1 plus 10. So, kumbaga, palitan lang natin lahat ng value ng x ng positive 1. And then, simplify. So, the answer is 8. So, ibig sabihin, since 8 yung sagot natin, 1 is not uh, a root of the given polynomial equation. Hindi kasama. Dapat 0 yung makuha natin. Proceed tayo kay negative 1. So, ganun din, papalitan natin yung value ng x ng negative 1. So, that is negative 1 cubed minus 6 times negative 1 squared plus 3 times negative 1 plus 10. Then, simplify. The answer is 0. So, ibig sabihin class, negative 1 ay kasama sa roots nitong polynomial equation natin, yung given, sa given natin. So, tatandaan. So, may isa na tayo. Again, uh, kung il, uh, ano yung degree of polynomial natin, siya yung magsasabi sa atin kung ilan din yung roots ng polynomial equation. Okay, since 3, so ibig sabihin tatlo yung roots natin dito. Meron na tayong isa, and that is negative 1. Hanap pa tayo ng iba, and then substitute natin si positive 2. 2 cubed minus 6 times 2 squared plus 3 times 2 plus 10, the answer is 0. So again, so ibig sabihin 2 is included. So dalawa na. Isa na lang yung hinahanap natin. So, kapag sinabdichit natin si negative 2, so the answer will be negative 28. So, hindi siya kasama. Sabdichit natin si 5. And kapag sinimplify natin yan, the answer is 0. Ayan, kompleto na. Ibig sabihin, ano yung roots ng x cubed minus 6x squared plus 3x plus 10? Ano yung mga roots? Negative 1, positive 2, and positive 5. So, ito ay isang way class na madaling uh, ma-identify natin yung roots ng polynomial equation natin. So, 
medyo matrabaho nga lang siya kasi class kung uh, simula ka dito kung ganito karami yung possible factors niya o yung possible rational roots niya paano kapag sobrang dami na no isa-isahin mo yun isa substitute so sa example nito na madali natin nakuha kasi sa negative 1 Uh, nag-0 na siya and 2-0 nakuha agad natin yung roots okay, so may iba pang paraan, no? may iba pang paraan para makuha natin yung roots kagaya ng ginawa natin sa previous slide natin using the synthetic division so try tayo ng isa no? ng isa dito ng isang rational root try natin yung negative 1 so try natin yung negative 1 So, pag using synthetic division, that is bring down 1, 1 times negative 1, negative 6 plus negative 1, that is negative 7. Then, multiply, negative 7 times negative 1, that is positive 7. Then, 3 plus 7, the answer is 10. 10 times negative 1, the answer is negative 10. 10 plus negative 10, the answer is 0. Alright, so the answer is 0. So, ibig sabihin class, Uh, this one, uh, negative 1 is included. So, ito na ngayon. No? Kung ayaw mo ng method na to, pwede ka mag gumamit ng uh, method na to. So, ano na lang yung naiwang factor natin? We have x squared minus 7x plus 10. Then, pwede natin to i-factor. No? Using factoring, and factoring yan is x minus 5 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. And then, uh, get the value of x. Okay, find the... Uh, So, using the zero product rule, so x is equal to 5, and then x minus 2 is equal to 0, x is equal to positive 2. So, parehas lang. So, nakuha natin yung negative 1, positive 5, and positive 2. Parehas lang. So, marami kayong paraan para makuha yung roots ng polynomial equation. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.